in our last SD-WAN video, we talked about how the network is changing and how our users are migrating from data center applications to cloud-based applications, and how SD-WAN is really the necessary platform to provide the uh, support for that migration. Today, we're going to talk about some of the business drivers that um, accrue when, when you implement SD-WAN. We're going to talk about things like visibility, performance, scalability, control, and security. So stick with us, and we'll get into some of those benefits. So we've talked about how the network is changing, but changing networks may not be enough for you to drive SD-WAN into your organization. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and we're going to talk a little bit about the business drivers of SD-WAN today. SD-WAN as, as a network topology is a, fantastic, uh, is a fantastic way of your users to access uh, some advanced applications that are now living in the cloud. Applications like AWS, infrastructure platforms like AWS, Azure, and Box, and applications like Office 365, Salesforce.com, or Workday. Any other SaaS um, applications could be on this list. And what we've seen in uh, part one of the videos is how applications and users have migrated from the data center um, to applications that are being hosted in the cloud. And that's created some inefficiencies in today's centralized networking. Dedicated point-to-points or MPLS networks back to the data center with a central security treatment um, uh, platform, then uh, launching sessions out to these cloud-based services is a very inefficient networking model. SD-WAN addresses that. It allows us to go securely to the data center when the data center is appropriate, and securely to our cloud service providers when cloud resources are required. But network efficiency may not be the entire story. In fact, certainly isn't the entire story with regard to SD-WAN. There are many business drivers and uh, business elements that you can include in your uh, analysis and feasibility study of implementing SD-WAN. So we're gonna take a look at those business drivers today. Those business drivers include visibility, scalability, control, performance, and security. So first for visibility, most companies don't have complete visibility over their entire network and over their, their entire um, edge infrastructure today. SD-WAN gives you granular visibility across the network, across applications, and down into the end user level. It also helps you with enhanced troubleshooting and allows you to see things uh, like latency, loss, jitter, identify or calculate MOS scores, monitor flow, and, and set alarms. It allows you to track and trace issues in apps or end users before they become service impacting. And you can receive alarms and isolate troubles in a standard format across your entire network and uh, both in terms of nodes and in terms of links. So this gives you a very powerful early warning system and troubleshooting system. But beyond that, there are advanced analytics modules that allow you to do historical analysis, assign scores, and do sophisticated what-if planning projections. You can ID top talkers and identify what priority you want to give them on the network, what bandwidth uh, utilization rates you want to assign to them, and determine whether or not those talkers are consuming too much bandwidth uh, for the priority of that particular application. You can also do the same thing to manage end users. You can, uh, you can determine what uh, amount of bandwidth they can consume, what applications they, they can access, and, uh, and determine whether or not they're using any shadow IT. So many of these functions are available over the entire edge infra infrastructure, router, firewall, WAN optimization, and, and VPN. But they're third-party solutions, typically. They're extremely expensive, and they're very, hard to, um, uh, they're very hard to keep accurate and tuned to your organization. The great thing about SD-WAN and its visibility platform is it's native to the application and generally is included uh, free of charge with the overall subscription price. After visibility, we want to talk a little bit about scalability. Today, most IT organizations, when they're opening a new location, have to purchase an entire stack of services, configure those, send someone out on site to implement that and, and do um, some additional on-site configuration potentially. That's days worth of work and a lot of capital. In an SD-WAN environment, 
there is a concept called zero touch provisioning, which allows you to, with a properly licensed box, send it out to the site and with a modestly set of uh, remote hands, intelligent remote hands, smart hands, someone can plug that device in to the internet connections, it phones home, downloads its, uh, its policies, its, um, its image, and is immediately in near time, near real time, an hour or so, up and running and part of your uh, network in a very seamless type of provisioning event. It's a great time saver when, of course, IT is rarely ever told in advance when new sites are being open or, or, or with enough time in advance to, to do all the things that they normally have to do. It's great for moves when, uh, when a stack has to be in place, but the site is moving and you want to keep both, both sites live for a period of time to provide a, 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 a transition. And it's also great when your company might acquire another company and you need to quickly bring them into a secure environment. You can drop an SD-WAN box at each of your acquired sites and have them up and running in days rather than weeks or months. So not only is the provisioning and new site installation a great advantage in SD-WAN, uh, the, moves, the, the moves and changes uh, within the application are also very efficient. So the scalability within an SD-WAN environment extends beyond the implementation of new sites. It also goes into the day-to-day -day, uh, moves, as and changes that have to happen within your, um, within your routing environment. SD-WAN with a global portal, a global interface to all of your locations allows you to add applications, subtract applications, change how applications are performing um, with one change that is immediately propagated to the entire organization. And you can do um, on-demand and on-the-fly changes as well. For example, if your marketing department releases new training material, and let's say that they're using uh, a private YouTube channel for that training material, you can go in and seamlessly upgrade YouTube bandwidth and prioritization to allow enough ca capacity for a large amount of YouTube consumption over a pretty short period. Or let's say that uh, your executives are holding a Facebook Live event with the entire organization. Well, Facebook may be an application that you minimize or even block on a day-to-day -day basis, but you can open up Facebook, uh, add, it, uh, add some bandwidth to it, increase its priority, and allow the entire organization to participate in that Facebook Live event, and then shut it back down, all with a very few change uh, cycles within, uh, within the SD-WAN portal. When we talk about performance in SD-WAN, we talk about um, productivity of the workforce, of getting um, uh, direct access to cloud-based applications that are being utilized more and more. And you can actually do some math, and I've done some math, on an ROI just for the avoidance of hairpinning through the data center to get to a cloud-based application. If you, if you have any interest in what that might look like, I'd be happy to share it with you, but you can ju typically justify the cost of your SD-WAN platform simply by the second saved over time and over a number of employees to avoid the, uh, when you avoid this hairpinning of traffic through, through your data center, not to mention taking that traffic load off of your, off of your data center and uh, allowing customers or end users to, to directly connect to those, uh, to those resources. So because we're, we're connecting directly to the resources, because SD-WAN is intelligently selecting which link to put an application session on, those applications are performing uh, better and the traffic is being prioritized for the most important apps. So the most important productivity apps or communication apps that your organization has are getting the highest priority and performing and the highest performance thresholds to allow the, the users to take maximum advantage of those app applications. Now, occasionally a circuit is gonna have trouble. Uh, and when a circuit begins to fail, SD-WAN is smart enough to, to move that traffic with forward error correction and eventually uh, moving the entire uh, primary stream over to an alternate circuit. That will benefit your end users in terms of keeping their sessions alive, a lack of drop calls, and a lack of complaints to the help desk. Another benefit of SD-WAN is it can monitor and manage the quality of service on those applications. Now, because we're using the public internet, generally with SD-WAN, there's no guarantee of quality of service, but there are SD-WAN service providers that can provide a private global um, uh, internet backbone or, or um, fiber-based backbone 
that will accelerate your traffic as though it were on an MPLS or, or, or private network. So you can actually guarantee QoS in that middle mile with SD-WAN to afford your users uh, a high quality experience. Of course, I've drawn only the internet here, but many clients choose to use a, um, an MPLS network for their very high quality traffic. Uh, we talked about that in, in, in the first video. And that MPLS network can certainly support any sort of QoS uh, framework that uh, applications have. So you have a lot of options with SD-WAN that you don't have with other, uh, other networking strategies. In terms of minimizing the impact of a link failure, uh, not only are the sessions kept alive, but that reduces help desk calls, that reduces complaints, that allows IT to focus more strategically on other IT initiatives rather than chasing um, uh, chasing trouble tickets and complaints. It reduces the impact of any particular network outage in terms of its uh, its overall impact on the end users and its overall impact on the uh, IT people that are supporting that network. And then lastly, within the box itself, within the SD-WAN box, we get performance improvements. SD-WAN boxes service chain uh, services. So we get great efficiencies rather than the hard handoffs that you have here with various platforms. The service chaining allows uh, one application to, to talk to the other within the SD-WAN platform and improves that communication flow and improves this, the, the throughput of those, of those boxes themselves. So a lot of performance advantages are, uh, come with an SD-WAN uh, imp implementation. So when we talk about how SD-WAN improves the control elements of our network, it's not just about improved routing capabilities. It's about how an IT organization, how a networking organization um, is able to manage and, and, um, and self-correct before things become uh, customer or end user uh, issues. So for example, we've talked about a lot of these already. When you have enhanced visibility, you can get ahead of trouble spots. You can get early, warning, uh, early warnings when things are beginning to erode. And you can make adjustments on the fly universally to, um, to avoid uh, user impacting situations. When we talk about performance and when applications and end users are performing uh, optimally, the IT organization has more control over its uh, operations and can start to act more strategically rather than reactively. So the next to the last business benefit of SD-WAN is security. There is a last business benefit of cost. I said we're going to do that. We're going to co cover that in the next video, in the business case video. Uh, but with regard to security, there are different models of SD-WAN security. There is a security first model where some of the security leaders in the industry, the Fortigates and Palo Altos of the world, have come up with their own SD-WAN uh, services. Some they built in natively to their, to their platforms. In other cases, like with Palo Alto and their acquisition of CloudGenix, it's more of, uh, of an acquired service. But it's a security first with the SD-WAN components layered on. There are other SD-WAN platforms, the native SD-WAN platforms, that have security incorporated into their platforms um, from, from the very beginning. These can include next generation firewalls and full UTM stacks, which provide um, uh, intrusion detection and intrusion protection services, deep packet inspection, URL filtering, sandboxing, and all those other advanced features that you would expect in, a, in an enterprise grade security platform. And then there are still a few SD-WAN platforms that don't do security at all. They don't want to um, get into that game. They want to manage the, the, the network and help people um, uh, route to the applications of their choice as efficiently as possible and allow you to continue to operate whatever security stack that, you've current, that you have currently in place. So most SD-WAN providers use IPsec tunneling for traffic security, but they'll also extend network segmentation out from your LAN into your, uh, the, your data center or other locations. So you can keep more risky traffic separated from more trusted traffic. So one of the biggest benefits of security, for, with security for SD-WAN, is the ability to have that uniform, that consistent set of policies, rules, configurations across your entire organization. Um, that's probably the biggest benefit, the biggest uh, criticism that SD-WAN platforms have is that they're not granular enough in what you can do to, uh, to uh, configure your security policies. I challenge that, that uh, objection. I mentioned FortiGate, 
uh, mentioned Palo Alto, leaders in the industry, all very strong in the SD-WAN uh, uh, market. Th there's no one's going to tell me that those folks don't have enough tuning knobs within their security platforms to allow customers to get comfortable with an SD-WAN implementation. So let's wrap this up. Not only does SD-WAN improve traffic flow on today's new networks, but it improves visibility for the IT organization. It improves, it improves the scalability of the IT or organization in terms of making moves or implementing new sites. It improves performance, both at an individual level and an application level. And it gives the IT organization an added sense of control, along with a very sound security um, strategy. So that's SD-WAN um, from a business benefits perspective. As I said, our next video, number three in the series, is going to be all about the business case. If you're considering implementing SD-WAN or any other technology, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to talk. It won't cost you a thing. And until next time, all the best. I'm looking forward to it.